Welcome back, 002, this men's quarterfinal. Winner of this match will face off with Ben and Colin Johns, who just came off championship court with a three game victory over Thomas Wilson and Christian Alshon. Deco Bar serving to Ivan Yakovlevich. Nice little speed up there from Deco Bar. He got a soft ink to his forehand side. That's of all he's probably looking to attack most of the time. That was a nice one. It is 2 0. Fans are loving it. A couple Ernie's on that point. Some nice defense from Tyson McGuffin, Deco Bar. They're up 3 0 in this game one. See how long Brandon French is. He, he's one of the better players at leaning over the kitchen line. Very lengthy. He holds his paddle. Um, his grip is very um, extended. It's a very unique grip on the paddle, as you'll see. Him and Ivan are from Dallas. Uh, it's always good to, to partner with someone in a tournament that lives in the same city as you. Get a lot of practice. Brandon attacking that ball in transition transition zone. We'll see if he continues to be more aggressive from the middle of the court. Looks like some of the strategy here early on from Brandon and Yvonne is to play it soft to Deckel Bar's backhand side. I think that's a smart strategy. And Deco's just playing them soft cross court back to Brandon. So Brandon has really been working on doing a two handed backhand. Not really cranking the ball, he's kind of finessing it. Yeah, Most players get the two handed backhand, they're really going for more power, like a full body motion. Brandon is really, I think he's doing it more for control. Big serve from Deckelbar. 
Come on, so good, it, yeah. Wow. How many times have we seen Dekelbar have a huge serve and then a really big forehand third? A lot of times he sets up them for success when he does that. Uh, but a really nice ball from Yvonne there. Pokes it through the hole between Dekel and Tyson. It's 2-4. Overhead from Dekelbar's Deco forehand. I mean, one of the best overheads in the game. One of the strongest players, and just a, a huge presence on the court. Love Dekel on the left hand side. Karen's not super happy about missing that forehand uh, drop shot short. I think players hate leaving it short. They they can live with popping it up on a forehand drop, but missing it short is tough. Does it again, wow. I think that's probably a shot that Yvonne has really been drilling, practicing. You don't just whip that out in a tournament. with Avon, especially when he gets those dinks to softballs to him, is how much he runs around his backhand dinks. He's going to try to. So if they can kind of trap him and, and not let him run around or go middle on him, it might uh, cause some pop-ups. Yeah. And that is a drive that just dips over the net. Very tough ball to sometimes even get a paddle on, but if you do, uh, hard to, to not pop it up. So a nice drive from Deckelbar. 6-2. The official ball of the PPA Tour. has some of the fastest hands on tour, I would say. Just barely missed that one. I think that ball might have surprised Deckel a little bit, actually. Wow, Brandon attacking it again in transition zone. 2-7-2. Yeah, that's a ball Brandon for French once. So I returned his forehand. Didn't have a lot of pace or spin on it. Cranks the third shot drive. Earns a point for his team, 3-7. He got another one, but I think he was just on his back foot there. Uh, form not as solid on that shot. Hits it short into the net. Good pace and a nice spot from Brandon French cross courting that. Three, seven, one. A fan had a duck from that one. You know, Deckel gets a high ball overhead. I think everybody in the venue needs to watch out. Three seven two. Three seven two. Oh, that hurts when you're down. Three seven. All right, side out. Seven three. Uh, Brandon tells Avon just keep fighting there. Wow. 
Brandon picked up a good ball to speed up there. Deckel had gotten pushed back on the dink before, and he was ready to, to counter, but he missed it into the net. Three, two. Tyson going for a big serve. Tyson trying to sneak an attack in there, but Brandon and Vaughn all over it. 3-1, Tyson serving again. And sometimes he's good for getting a point off his serve. You know, he's a uh, good pace, really good depth, I would say. Tyson's serve is in the elite category. So it's 10-3. Game one goes to Tyson McGuffin and Deckel Barr. When the world sleeps, greatness rises. Training rigorously and pushing boundaries. Ah! The next level isn't just hand, it's earned. Go next level. The 6 0 pickleball. Game two, tight end, 0 0 2. Really nice return from Brandon French. Tyson spotted that serve to Brandon's backhand side with pace and depth, and Brandon hit a perfect return to the back line. And Brandon's had a couple a couple misses on his uh, forehand drives short. We'll see if he looks to drop the ball any, anymore um, on his thirds. He's going to switch paddles here, going back to his bag, and a paddle switch um, in between points. All right, so it is, I believe, 2-0. 1-0-1.
Nice play from Yvonne there. He really spotted that first dink, and then he got a ball. He was able to kind of punch and roll on his next attack. He's playing very strategic right now. And Tyson showcasing his forehand drive. We know he's got a Ferrari forehand. And Yvonne just misses it short, so it's 2-0-2. Tyson really trusted Deckles' backhand drop there. It was a good one, and I uh, went for the poach. Just Zero missed it short. 0-5-1. What a ball from Yvonne. That's right where you want to put it. From his backhand side to not an easy shot. I've really been impressed with Yvonne Yankovlevich this week. See, he ran around a couple of his backhand dinks on that point, but he got one that was high enough. And I feel like he read it really well that he didn't need to run around it. He just needs to, to roll it with his backhand side uh, for a clean winner down the middle. Server just a touch out. Five, two, one. Two, five, uh, five, two, one. I think that pipe that pop up might have been caused by Vaughn going middle there and Declan Tyson not really sure who was gonna take that ball. It was easy put away for Brandon. Yeah, and another example of how going middle can be really successful there. Um, a nice drive down the middle, Brandon and Vaughn were, you know, trying to try to figure out who's gonna hit that ball. And it goes long for an error. Six two. And Tyson's drive might have been going out. Deckel uh, takes it home for a point. Seven two, Vaughn and Brandon really need a side out here. They get one, two, seven.
Yeah, and Deckel put a lot of backhand slice on that service return. And you hear pro players talk about how if you slice the return, you get a huge forehand drive that has a lot of dip. I think that was a good example of how players are starting to maybe slice the return less. Okay. A nice ATP defense from Yvonne. Pretty good around the post from Deckel, but Yvonne all over it. So what I mean by that is when players hit a backhand, uh, service return slice, and then the other player hits a forehand drive, the ball really dips. It's a tough third for the other team. Oh, just taking over, crashing the middle. Five seven one. And a really nice third uh, from Avon there. Brandon tries to crash the next one, just barely misses it. Five seven two. Love that play from Deckel. You know, he got a couple balls deep to his backhand side. He dropped two of them. And one, it looked like he was going to drop the ball, and he just cranked a two-handed backhand drive. When you play like that, you can kind of be deceptive. You, you don't know if they're going to attack you. That's that's what you gotta think. So two stops, get side out. Nine five one. Nine, five, one. I think he was on his back foot there, missed the drive short. We see that a lot. Deep returns, you're off balance, maybe missed the drive short. from Brandon Yvonne there, spotting their dinks, you know, playing patient but aggressive. So high level there. Great playing, Brandon. points where they're just banging the ball at Tyson Deckel in firefights like that. 6-9-2. Got to refocus here. 9-6-1. Deckel and Tyson can just start playing free, rip the ball, drive it. That really suits their play style. 10 6 1 is match point.
No volleys on volley violation uh, to end the match.